can't say enough um, about the stories in the room. Uh, everybody here has been touched by cancer in some way, shape, or form. Some of us are being touched by it right now. And there's been a lot of tears already shed. There's going to be a lot more when we get to Texas. And I really, really am very humbled by the number of people that have gotten behind this cause, from the volunteers to the riders to um, some more impressive people. Um, it, it is worth it. So Peter McCormick, please stand up. Well done. Uh, uh, Team Ireland's been doing their own thing over there, $45,000, which is great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Val broke her collarbone about, what, eight weeks ago, and when she heard about this ride, she was in. You know, there was no questions. She was the first one to get past $5,000. She had a wine tasting and dinner. It was fantastic. Unfortunately, she broke her collarbone, but in, in kind of what I call the spirit of the TGF is she's driving her team van all the way there. She's very, very close, and we appreciate that. What I really would like to do, firstly, is just for everyone to give a huge round of applause to the team, because when Todd came to me with this idea, he said, hey, I've got this idea, and I really did say to myself, I, firstly, I thought he meant that I was going to cycle all the way, and I said, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and he said, just like that film, I had to ask Eddie Clark the name of that film with uh, Kevin Costner, Feed the Dreams. And as, as I'm sure you all know that famous line, if you build it, they, they, they will come. come. And fair play to Todd and his group, they built it, yeah. and all of you guys have come. So. <laughs> And I was thinking to myself that this is just a bike ride, right? Wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong in my mind in so many the way I was approaching because this is just not a bike ride. It's something very different. It's a mission. And I really am starting to see that. When I walked in here and I saw the caliber of people that are involved here, I said to myself, what a great thing to be involved in a mission. I've never went to or been a part of of an army or that, but this is what it must feel like to be part of an army. I've been part of hurling teams who I know were going out and there's going to be 50 or 60,000 people roaring at us, and I know that feeling. And I got that feeling when I think it was Todd or one of the other guys opened up and started speaking about things. I said to myself, Jesus, I'm part of a mission. And that's what we are. Because if you think about it, right now somewhere in a house or in an apartment or in a hospital, there's someone that's just struggling to get to lunchtime. Or there's someone, and we've seen it, We've all seen it either first hand or second hand. There's someone who's struggling just to get down that meal. Do you know what I mean? Many of you do. And the thing that's most important to remember is that that's why we're doing this. We're going down across, as they say, one of the greatest countries in the world, on a mission. We're going to get to, to Austin, Texas, and we're going to realize that while we've been doing it, we've been inspiring people. I'm still getting letters from people after last summer that said, what you did inspired my mother and my father, and they got over cancer. So please, when you're getting ready tonight, and on those tough days, because there will be tough days, you know that, like there are in life, remember, we are part of a mission, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. So thanks very much. <laughs> you're a team captain, align yourself with another captain, okay? Because that's our first stopping point. Uh, I know where it is, so you're okay on our team. Uh, that's Seaview Park. The next one after Seaview Park is right out the Bedford Highway, up the Rocky Lake Road, to towards Charles P. Allen High School. And there's a, an RV sales center there with all the motorhomes on the left. Okay? That's the next grouping point. Right? And then from 
from right there, the what's that? Right in the yep, we'll just meet right in there. Uh, and then from there, you've got to get out to the actual. <laughs> You're bad. Yeah, that's what's all about. Yeah, where are you? Get the map. Okay, but there's one error. Yeah, that's right. Can you take 10 pounds? Okay, guys, there's, a, there's, a, there's one error. I do want to use, if you have your binders, actually, I'll just take out the sheet. So we don't have to. Okay. Um, but I'll cover it now, we'll cover it again in the morning. Because then by then you, you might be uh, you, you might be split up by then. So, uh, but we'll regroup at that RV park or RV sales center. Then you go straight out past Charles B. Allen. Uh, the way we always go, Danny, I'll go yeah. winter, right? um, over the overpass. The train tracks? No, no, we're, we're missing those train tracks. I'm his family. You go right to the end of that road and take the left. And then you'll run into the church on the yeah. right. Correct? Yeah. But we'll cover this in detail in the morning. Yeah. I'm just covering basics right now. Sure. Um, oh, this so is we're gonna be riding kind of as a big group from here out to Mount Uniac, and then we'll we'll have a gas station allocated for the vehicles. And that's where you stop. Okay. So if your team splits up or whatever, um, that's where you stop. We'll have a lunch break here. Because I forgot my keys. And then the teams will go out. And then it's a pretty straight shot down to New Minus. When you say regroup, do you mean it? In case you lose any team members? Yeah, yeah, in case you lose any team members, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then once you have your team, as long as you check off as captain, you have all your team members, you're free to go. Uh, we told the guy in, in New Minus that we'd be there about 2.30. Um, he only wants one vehicle in his parking lot. It's a very tight parking lot. Okay, so just try and keep other vehicles across the street. There's parking, and then there's a Sobeys parking lot. He's going to have a barbecue for us. It's the Kent Building Supplies in New Minus. So you like, who in your team wants to ride the last 40 to 50K? And then we'll, because we'll need to reorient, because it won't be a team, it'll just be a group. And we'll leave by 4 o'clock out of that for the last 40 to 50K. Uh, and then that's it. So what I just envision is, please, you know, spend, get your team together, especially if you haven't met your whole team. Try and spend 10, 15 minutes together between now and then. We can just talk about expectations. And we'll do this every night, just a little bit of like, here's the next day's route, here's the things to look out for. And then I want you guys to pay attention to safety issues. Anything you learn, bring them back to me, and we'll make sure we share them among